Hi everyone, this is Max from Dice Design. Today we will go to the process of installing a Dyson and Dice Extruder in your loose butt. First thing you want to do is to go to www.dicedesign.com support and download the custom bracket that have been made to fit directly on your loose butt. Second thing you want to do is when you purchase your Dyson and Dice Extruder, be sure to purchase the 24 volt version because the loose butt function on 24 volt. Okay, now what you want to do is to uninstall the extruder and the odden that are included with your loose butt. On our model, the odden is not installed, but uh, if you have one already installed, don't worry, you don't need to uninstall it to remove the carriage. So first, just to unconnect your all the connectors. So like I said, the connector for the odden is not uh, connected because we don't have the odden. And the next thing you want to do is to take an uh, Allen key and we will use a 2.5 millimeter Allen key and unscrew that screw right in here. And normally you will be able to remove all the extruder and hot end assembly. So. So that's it. Now you remove all the carriage assembly of the extruder and the nozzle itself. Okay, so now the next step is to install your Dyson and Dice Extruder on the custom bracket. So what you will need is the custom bracket itself, the two fastener that are included with your Dyson and Dice Extruder kit, and the Dyson and the Dice Extruder. So now you take one of the screw, put it in the back. Again, now you will take another type of Allen key. This one will be a three millimeter Allen key. So just take it and put it in the hole. And now you should be ready to mount your Dyson and Dice extruder on the bracket. Okay, so now that the bracket is mounted on your Dice extruder and Dyson, you just have to reinstall the last fastener that we remove uh, from the carriage itself. So this screw right here. And for that, you will use a 2.5 millimeter Allen key. So that's pretty much it. You're done for the installation of your Dyson and Dice extruder. Okay, so now that you install your Dyson and Dice extruder on the carriage, you will have to route your cable through the motor and the Dyson directly in the board itself. So if you buy the full kit, you will have four cable. One is for the thermistor, one is for the fan, the other one is for the heater, and the last one is for the motor. You can note that each cable have a color code, so black for thermistor, blue for the fan, red for the heater itself, and the other one for the motor. So for the purpose of this video, what we made, it's a routing with this kind of tube and what you want to do is to put that tube in the slot right here put a cable tie around it and you can route that cable directly on the old one make sure that the maximum length you need is directly in the end of the printer and when the z-axis it's at the bottom itself so in that way you will have um, the right amount of uh, cable for the printer itself. Okay, then uh, when you finish to make the cable mapping and you connect all your cable on the board, you are now ready to make the connection on your Dyson and Dice extruder. If you need more information about how to connect on your board and how to upload the firmware, you can go to www.dicedesign.com support and you will have guide to help you with that. So now you can connect the thermistor itself. And now you can connect the fan, the heater, and the last one, the motor. So after that, you are ready to make your Z-axis calibration. Don't forget it. And when this is done, you are ready to print. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hey guys, check out our other Dyes Extruder and Dyes End installation videos 
And don't forget to subscribe to our Dice Design YouTube channel for some awesome videos.